Hello guys on YouTube, how are you guys today? Well, I am doing pretty good myself today, but I want to talk to you guys today on how can you tune a station on your Toshiba receiver with the radio itself by using FM only, by using an indoor antenna, if you want to use an outdoor antenna, that's totally fine. Uh, make sure you do ground it because you never know what's going to happen uh, with the outdoor antenna with the mother nature and stuff but it will look like we're going to have a bit of a thunderstorm tonight probably but uh, my radio seems to tune in pretty good but it's a little bit cloudy outside it looks kind of ugly outside by the way I do uh, live in a brick house and the reception is not that good but make sure you have the antenna close to the actual window itself to make sure you get good reception by the way it sounds uh, pretty good now I don't get all of my FM stations in because some of the stations are sometimes uh, pretty weak for the type of antenna I'm actually using but it does a pretty nifty job it's a, a metal bow tie uh, antenna it's an old school uh, television style antenna, but I'm now using it for my radio. Yes, you do have to use the antenna for your radio. I don't know why, but it'd be kind of cool if we had uh, a different type of radio. It doesn't have uh, antennas and stuff, but that's what they do have in them. But hey, uh, I didn't spend, like I said, a whole lot on this uh, antenna project or anything, guys, but it seems to work. Uh, pretty good. I'm very happy with it. I get uh, my uh, rap stations in and I got some of my country stations in. But let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Hey you guys. It was this antenna. You guys seen this a couple of, uh, a couple times before. That is my indoor antenna by the way. That's what I actually use for everyday use for my radio. And it seems to work. Uh, Pretty good. I really like it. By the way, it looks kind of ugly outside. It looks like we're gonna have a storm or something like that. But let's go ahead and move over here to this old girl. This old girl is my Toshiba receiver stereo, by the way, and it works very good. I am only using the FM. I don't use the AM yet because I don't have an AM antenna hooked up to this yet. But I will eventually uh, get there as well. But other thing seems to tune uh, very nicely. By the way, here we have like a tune meter, I guess, whatever this uh, thing is. A little thing though, but it's kind of cool. But we also have the stations. By the way, this is not digital. This is only analog, by the way. It means I actually have to use this knob to tune some stations in. That's pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can pick up a station now. There's this station, and it's a uh, little stocky, and it's also a little bit weak. You really can't hear it. It's just mostly stack. Let's do something else then. Oh, look at that. We got a station. We got some some type of band playing. Now that's going to keep tuning hell and see what own stations we can actually pick up. There you guys can see, not much, not a lot on this antenna. Got something now, but it's mostly stack. That's kind of cool. Got something now. It's picking up. You guys can see now it's at the two meter range, and the FM light is on. Oh, what else? Pretty. But uh, this antenna, it does a pretty good job. Of picking up stations. It's an on station. It's a little weak. But it's too pretty good. I really like it. But that's what you expect when you're using a very old school analog radio instead of a digital radio. But every radio is uh, different here, guys. Definitely, if you're going to be using 
different styles of antennas. But uh, we're picking up some good stations here, guys, I tell ya. It's pretty cool. But I really do like the way this antenna does work with this old uh, receiver here, guys. But what do I mean about uh, digital? If you had a digital uh, receiver, you don't have to worry about too much of an antenna use. Like on this older one you do. But it seems to tune very good. But I'm trying to get it all tuned in here. But yes, yeah, some of the stations all a little bit weak old because it's a little bit cloudy outside. It's not as clear outside. But yeah, it definitely works. Getting something now. Got a station right here, guys. But it's very, very stacky. But it seems to pick it up. Got an on station now. Yeah, <laughs> this is cool. Got an on station now. And keep on going. And that's about it on the uh, middle of my FM band on this. But yeah, it picks up pretty good. I really like that. But it sometimes it won't pick it up, and sometimes it won't pick it up because it's uh, an old, old machine, and it's a little, like I said, it's cloudy outside. And yes, this does actually pick up very good stations when it needs to pick up some good stations. And by the way, we got a, like a 304 ball uh, needle here. This station is tuning in very good. Here you guys can see that the light is on. Now if I disconnect the antenna in the back, this light will actually start uh, flickering. Here you guys can see that. Now it drops down to uh, 2 meter range. Here you guys can see once I put the antenna back on. And it seems to hold pretty good around that. Now, the antenna, like I said, it's just a very, very cheap antenna, guys. It's not, you know, a high-end quality antenna. Uh, for this right here, but uh, it all works and it tunes in very, very good. I'm very uh, surprised on how my radio seems to work with uh, this type of antenna. But you can choose, like I said before, you can choose whatever antenna you want to use for your system. Now, do I get all my stations uh, on my radio? No, because I'm using an indoor antenna, guys. I'm not using an outdoor antenna. If I was using an outdoor antenna and it was uh, above the trees, it was a high uh it'll probably pick up more of the stations than what it's doing right now. But like I said, I'm not going to get into that today, you know, with on how high the antenna should be uh, on the roof or anything. But this antenna seems to work the best for me because, like I said, it's near the window. It's actually stuck on the window itself. But the antenna is important for most radios to actually use. But it does tune a very, very good. I really like the way it seems to tune in a very good station when I want to listen to my radio. No, it's analog, not digital. Okay, guys? But yeah, it does tune very good, guys. I'm very impressed on this very old unit uh, with the style of antenna I'm using. I'm very happy I can tune any type of station I want to listen to. But yeah, sometimes it can pick it up. And sometimes it can be quite stacky because you know you gotta tune it in the right area of these little numbers. But if you want to use the AM, gotta make sure you have an antenna for that. But I do not have an antenna uh, for the uh, AM. I just use the FM. Uh, radio side of my the Shiba receiver anyways because that's what I like to listen to but it seems pretty good I really am very impressed on that little antenna right though that antenna does a very good job of how to tune a very good station now is it all an antenna that I can buy yeah I can buy uh, all sorts of different antennas and I can use outdoor antenna that would be a whole lot more better than using the indoor antenna. But, hey, it's the 
issue of figuring out where it's going to go outside on the roof and everything else. And, you know, that's just the way antennas work. But this antenna does a very uh, good job of tuning in most of my stations. But I don't get all my stations. But, hey, that's just the way radios work, you guys. Because it's a low-end, uh, low-band, uh, stations. Uh, sometimes it will pick up the higher stations or the close to me. And sometimes it will try to tune in to a good station, like, say, a, a station far away from you. It, it may pick it up, it may not. But, like I said, uh, before when I was using this antenna, I was using just, uh, electrical wire, uh, cable, uh, copper wire that was, I normally would use, uh, down at, in this house as well. But it seems pretty good. Alright uh, guys, that is how to tune in a radio station on my old streamer receiver. If you guys are brand in this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please show. Peace out. Bye guys. Well, hopefully, see you in the next vlog.